Parental discretion is advised. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this week on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, we look back on seven years of mayhem. Mayhem! And we dream about seven more. Seven more. Now it's time to get fucked in the mouth. <laughs> All that and more this week on the Mayhem. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Chachi Plays for Kids. Find out how you can participate and donate. ChachiPlays.com. Hey guys, welcome to the first Wrestling Mayhem show of 2013, episode 351. It's been seven years. Holy crap, we're still here. Yeah. 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 Why, why are we shaking our heads? So we'll get to you. <laughs> hold on, hold on, we'll get to you. We gotta, we gotta wait for that. Don't say anything. <laughs> so we're here. We're, we're like that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We're getting it. We're getting everybody together. We had we had last year. We brought in uh, an old face, and now we're going to up the ante. Uh, but first, some of the uh, the newer, older faces. That doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, first, joining us from the Mole Man Cave, uh, just recovering from the Legacy Virus, is Papa Lunchbox. How you doing tonight, sir? Uh, I live. He does. Either he's got fresh IV uh, uh, tracks uh, right on his hand. Yeah, two of them, because the fucking asshole didn't get the vein on the first one. Uh, they didn't even uh. go there on, on me when I was in the hospital last week. So, yeah, how you doing, next. sir? I, I understand you're going to try to join us for at least the first half of the show here. I, I am going to be with you for the first half. Uh, I'll share my story a little bit later, but uh, basically The Rock did something very bad to me. Mm, mm, put him in the <laughs> hospital last night. Also joining us from, uh, I think he's in Corpus Christi, Texas, the yeah, Wrestle yeah, fan. So- Still celebrating the great holidays, and it's and I have a I have a makeshift table, which means I'm not in my uh, normal setting. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, Wrestling Mayhem show seven seven straight years, and that's about as old as I am. So I don't know how that math works. So okay, exactly, and and uh, yeah, I, how, I don't know yeah. how long Christmas lasts down there unless you celebrate some kind of weird Hanukkah. It's Texas, you know. Te- we're it, they're weird. He's still finding doubloons under his pillow to this day. Uh, also balloons! joining us is the Riz. Huh? What's wrong with you? <laughs> wait, uh, I, I, wait, we're doing a show now. We're doing a show now. What's on my head? I don't know. The condom. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, you, just con- you just ate a condom, I think. So, so that happened. I, um, I, 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 but when I first woke up, it was, it was, we were doing the Christmas show. Yeah. And then I, I did something. Okay. And then I woke up and we're doing a show now. Did you wake up with your pants on? No. It, but, but this was stuck on my head. And I don't know why, but it tastes like a wine bar or Something a wine label. <laughs> Lunchbox, what you do to me? Look, or are we allowed to explain this? I didn't do anything that you explicitly asked me for. You sent me a note that said, "Please, as I am sleeping, put wine bottle labels on my head." Oh, damn! And I said, "Well, if Riz wants line, wine bottle labels on his head, I'm gonna make it happen." And I fucking did. I dispatched my mole man agents, who I have tamed. So they put. So you bought you bought Santa's elves. I bought mm-hmm. Santa's elves, but as mole men. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mole elves. <laughs> but happy New Year. Happy New Year. Hey! And also joining us, as we like to do, we, we we like to bring back some old faces here. Joining us uh, this week are the first couple of the mayhem. <laughs> Doc Remini and Mayhem Missy, how you doing, guys? We're good. Oh, <laughs> lewd gestures already. <laughs> You're going to have to go sit in the car. <laughs> this is what's changed. <laughs> All right, I am pissed off. Okay. Already, You're going to start out with this. I am. You're going to ruin the whole mood, the whole Happy New Year's vibe with your petty 
Just, Why the fuck did you bring me back on an odd number show? <laughs> on an odd number show. Uh, <laughs> it's weird. I mean, it's to top it all off, also, it's, it's an, an odd, odd number, number anniversary. anniversary. I know. I should In not be In an here. odd numbered year. Trust me, this guy was pissed New Year's Eve night. As soon as it turned to 213, he just got pissed. He's like, this is going to be a bad year. 213. 2000, 2000. Odd numbers everywhere. Pissing me off. Everywhere. I'm just a boiling cesspool of hate right now. Why are you pointing? Wait, was that like directed at your crotch? Yes. That's where all the boiling is taking place. That's so wrong. That's so wrong. But I have um, been resurrected. You've been resurrected, yes. You had a time of death. I was murdered, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> it straight up happened. I was stabbed in the back and then mutilated. But I've been resurrected by the fine witch doctors that cured Sir Lunchbox. Also mm, had profound... Black magic. Ab- What's that? Black magic. Black magic. And their black magic is so advanced, they excel in all forms of necromancy. And with <laughs> what is that? This is, this is how many people are following you right now. Did you, did you hear the silence? What is, where did you get that from? Is that are you romancing the stone? No, this is the relic that is allowing me to walk on this goddamn earth. You always have to carry it in your pocket. Yes. Okay. If I lose this, I die again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see where this goes. <laughs> it was a fun night. Awesome. And uh, Chachi is here. Yeah, he's over there. Yeah, he's over there. Really. He won't sit on my lap. Hi, Chach. Hi. Hey. We tried to save him a seat right here in, in between us, but okay. he won't do it. He won't come over here. Hey, Missy, how have you been? I'm about to come over there. Very good. You Don't guys... come anywhere. <laughs> 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 Anyway, Sork, thank you for asking. I'm doing well. How is you, your new year going? Good, good, good. good. Um, <laughs> and like I mentioned a little bit, you guys, you guys are the the first couple um, born of the Mayhem show. We are. That's true. We are all because of yeah, it happens. Mayhem. Thank you. And you're welcome. Wait, who said thank you? <laughs> you weren't even a part of it yet. You were not even born. <laughs> <laughs> Russell fan is the Russell direct fan result. Thinks he was there. <laughs> and Russell fan's the first child. Figure that one out, guys. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now I'm going to be sick. Well, that's Whoa, not wait. my semen. So <laughs> what? Where did he come from? I, did I not. It's like, I don't have to take credit for that. I would not have a. That's like my real child. parents. Just, that's not genetically possible. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Damn, what? Russell fan. <laughs> I know. That's kind of, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> This shit hard. Are you turning red? <laughs> He's blushing. <laughs> <laughs> He's Anyways. turned on right now. I can see it. If, if, if I can that, see it in his eyes. He's turned on. It's that hat. Who? My hat is turning you on. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> on that note, guys, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. How have we been doing this for seven years? Oh, How? No. Oh, man. Know. Every Tuesday. <laughs> Every um, Tuesday, I'm sure a couple were skipped here and there. Uh, a couple. Oh, here get there. technical, why don't you? Semantics. It's all about the semantics. We did just take like three weeks off. Yeah, see. But that's the first time we. That is the the most extended vacation we've taken from this show in a long time. So well deserved. Um, well deserved. Exactly. There you go. So <laughs> Congratulations well, on vacation. Because of that break, you are now not the most the longest running weekly episodic oh, wrestling come podcast. On. You blew it. Hey, come on. Even Saturday <laughs> Slam had to do some best ofs in there, right? I wouldn't know. We have to watch Ninja Turtles in the morning. <laughs> Ninja hey, Turtles in the morning. <laughs> Saturday could, morning is reserved. We could, we could do pre-tape and... episodes, but technically all our shows are pre-taped. <laughs> well, there is a live element. That's, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Wait, yeah this is a Wrestling no, Mayhem Show. Uh, where we're talking wrestling. It's WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can pick us up on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, uh, Blip TV, Roku, and uh, YouTubes. And all over the you. place. And talk shoot. And talk yes. you and Blog TV. We're, st- we're not on the Blog TV anymore. <laughs> uh, I think we are simulcasting on Ustream still, though. And the WPAJ Radio. And the WPAJ Radio. <laughs> uh, Hatcher Radio. Uh, PA, PA Radio. PA Juggalo Radio. WesternPAJuggalos.com. <laughs> I try well, how going How far there. back do we want to go? Uh, I, I, is there anything AIPJuggalos.com? <laughs> oh. 
Allegheny Championship Wrestling. There you go, RWF, uh, Sword <laughs> Stock, uh, 2005 through 8, um, <laughs> spring and summer editions. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Part of that, when we decided we wanted to expand and do it twice a year. My brother-in-law technically... loves uh, Steam Steam Machine <laughs> because of Sword Stock 2006 Spring is Edition. is the favorite within my family after watching Sword Stock. <laughs> we did do that, a DVD. I love that, I love yes, that technically we if it was uh, 2005 to 2008 with two epi- uh, two shows a year, we would have you would have been to like your fourth anniversary in any shows. <laughs> we didn't know. We started small. We started small, (laughs) and then we expanded out to a spring and summer edition because we thought we should do more, obviously. Yeah. 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 Uh, But hey, yo, uh, uh, drop us a line. Tell us how crazy we are at Good Times. Good Good Times. times. At WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Hold on, hold on. That's my line. She she can say it. (laughs) Oh, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Everybody's... Everybody that share that. That's uh, good times. Good times. At wrestlingmayhemshow.com or drop a line to 412 206 WMS0 on the dial. Uh, also follow us at Mayhem Show. We're on Facebook. We are on Google. We have groups, open communities and groups and such on Facebook and Google Plus now. Uh, so drop in there and talk to us. We just yell us. at WrestleFan. You can too. That's pretty much. There's yeah. also a yelling That's pretty at. Pretty much all at yelling at. There is. There is also still a yelling at wrestle fan group. And holy yeah, shit, guys! With the thing, eighty six comments. Are you freaking serious on the fruity <laughs> pebbles thing? It was his fault. He wasn't agreeing with me. I went away. I went and checked because I found the fruity pebbles thing. We'll talk about it later. Uh, we will talk about it now. I don't know. And, and I came back an hour later. Had passed. And there's forty six comment comments. Most of them yelling at wrestle fan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So there you go. That you can be a part of that. You're too. welcome. So not not no. that much has changed. No, if we're no. still yelling at Russell fans. No, you are no. all welcome. <laughs> <laughs> On that, let's get into this. The only way we know how, let's get into it with the fan mail portion of the show. Fan um, mail. Who's got the first one up? Nobody's prepared. I don't have. I don't I'm get prepared. them anymore. Yeah, I was cut. You we were exercising. You cut off. Cut off. Yes, you were cut off from the list. I. I'm gonna do it. I'll have to re- resurrect that. I've been cut LB, off. LB, are you are you going with your uh, special mail? Yes. Ah, uh, you know what? That's not hooked up. Because I have people here. That's oh, okay. No. Uh, so just pretend. That, just pretend that you have the Tetris theme playing in your. Well, head. I do you have. I do have a Game Boy. Um, nice. that I, uh, oh, hold on, I, I'll get you, I'll get you. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead and start reading and I'll, uh, cue in the music. Hey, 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 hey. What it is, Mayhem Crew? It's me, it's me, it's Big PPC. Woo, fucking woo. Fantastic final show last year. I love the 12 days of Christmas. Fucking fantastic. Ugh, I sent an email from my iPhone and it didn't go through, so I read another. Ugh, first one was better. Oh well. Ziggler vs. Cena feud got better, huh? Ziggler and AJ quote, got busy on Christmas tree. Biggie Langston, aka Mini Mark Henry, is good at being a quote, hair or bodyguard. The shield is amazing. It has all the tools to be a great group. Hope it lasts longer than Nexus. Barrett Barrage dominated Santino fan fucking tastic. <laughs> Cesaro dominated Kali 3MP. Baby! Orton is boring and lame. Same old. Same old. Going to play the harp, my ace. Cena vs. Ziggler equals. Money Ziggler is great. Team Hilno vs. Road Scholars. More of this, please. Fan fucking testic. Punk vs. Ryback was good considering TLC match on Raw and all. Coffee go squashed. By show. Ouch. WME. Fuck balls. Let's hope next week my phone doesn't not send first email. I was bamboozled and horns swoggled out of my first email, damn. Bull Sackery. ROH pay-per-view was great. Steen and Genetic and TNA would be better with no Hogan's brother. Question for the week. What is your favorite stipulation for match of any promotion? My top three. TLC match, War Games, I quit match. Till next week, it's me. It's me. It's big. BPC. Sent from my phone. 
<laughs> I, I, your your sickness really did interesting things to your accent this week. I know <laughs> a little bit. I think it made it better. <laughs> well, yeah, but slower. It did, it did sound more Russian and less Borat. Slower, less enthusiastic, uh, but yet it worked. So uh, let's hit that question then. What's your favorite stipulation for a match of any promotion? I have to throw this out here. It's one that never panned out, and I really wish WWE would take it on and do it right. If there is a right way to do this, War Game or not War Games, uh, World War Three. Really? Three, what's better than one Royal Rumble? Three rings of Ra Royal Rumble. <laughs> right? Right? Well, it wasn't Royal Rumble. It was no, it was, it was just like a battle royal, right? It's so, the same thing. But still, royal. but still, the mayhem. At least, like, to see in person, I think it would be tremendous, right? Horrible to try to film. Far too much <laughs> going on. Um, but watch, watch some indie group that Zorg's going to work for is going to do a World War Three style thing. And he's, no, and Chuck, he's just going to get pissed and leave. <laughs> and it's going it's, it's, it's to be ridiculous. No, it's going to be a World War Four. And it's going to be four rings, which makes more sense because you can just put them all together in one right. giant thing. Um, <laughs> just a super ring. Then, yeah, there's yeah, really, yeah. then there's really only two sides that people can get eliminated on. Well, they, right? of, of each ring, yes. So you can get thrown out of your ring but end up in another ring, and you're still cool. It's actually eight <laughs> That would be amazing. Four sides. There would be one long side. Two rings put together make no, one long side. No, each ring would have its own side. Make one long side. <laughs> Well, you know how you can never really get rings completely flush up against each other. So if you fall out and, and get stuck in That's that crevice, true. eliminated. Okay. <laughs> so if you make it over to the other ring, you're still good. But if you fall in the it, crevice, you're out. No, no, no. You need to have refs underneath the ring so they can see like underneath if their feet hit the floor. So when they're leprechaun in the crevice. refs must be employed. Hornswoggle. Hornswoggle. <laughs> well, that's uh, on and that also means you need a cameraman under the ring to capture said. That's true. Chachi. That's true, Chachi. Horn, horn Chachi. You will lay under I the wanna, ring for that man. I want to see He's someone get off. thrown. <laughs> I want to see someone get thrown from one ring to the other, like ringside, and then skin the cat, just to like fuck with all of us. I don't mm. know if it's possible because there's no, no hang possible. time. No, not really. Not really. I want to see somebody lay skin the cat if you're a midget. I want to see somebody laying across. Uh, this is perfect for Kofi Kingston to span somebody <laughs> across the two ropes and then tightrope walk out each one of them and then just do his boom, 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 double leg drop to him in the middle. Yeah. Where to the couch. Yes. Favorite stipulations? Any promotion? A deter. Inferno match. Inferno match. We should light people on fire more often. <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't done that for a while, have we? <laughs> we should. I was telling somebody about it the other day, and they couldn't believe that that's something they actually would have done. I guess because of the way things are now, you would never think that they would light somebody on fire, because then you would have to explain it to the kids and send home like notices to their parents. And but back in the day, <laughs> we could light people on fire, and everyone had a good time. Well, almost. well almost. if it was Kane, he probably still liked it. If he lost, he probably <laughs> liked it the anyway. Chat room. Oh, hold on, I want to go through everybody else. Riz, what do you got? Um. One of the ones I kind of like that's no, not even a thing anymore, championship scrambles. Really? I hate yeah. scrambles. I, I, what? I hate they scrambles. Happen, they happen twice. Yeah. 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 I also I hate just, gauntlet matches. I think gauntlet matches are complete bullshit. What, what the hell? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> trying to take my only way of life, <laughs> which is a lot like marriage. Oh. Oh. <laughs> A whole new level of joking. Um, I'm moving away from that. Sorry, Riz, what were you saying? But yeah, championship scrambles are fun. Okay. And I want them back. Uh, we would like, oh, I guess sorry, I, Sorg. I, I'm sorry. I just I have a problem with that. Russell fan, how about you? Uh, I've always been a big fan of uh, Iron Man matches. I, I really enjoy those. Okay. Um, but I think they have been screwed as of late. Uh, ever since, and it's one of my favorites, but ever since then it's been screwed, was the one between Brock Lesnar and Kurt Angle, oh. where Brock Lesnar comes up with the amazing idea to just beat the shit out of Kurt Angle with the chair in the opening, and he gets dq like three times, mm -hmm. uh, but it allows him to like beat him like six times in a row because he's injured. That one was like on <laughs> SmackDown too, wasn't it? Yeah. I remember watching that, and I was just, and I was just like, why doesn't everyone do that? Chachi, or uh, LB? 
I've always been a big fan of Battle Royal matches. I mean, the Royal Rumble is my favorite match of the year, but uh, I love good Battle Royal. I'm also a big fan of uh, uh, well-done TLC matches. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. From like, the... Uh, like the the one from from Monday, that was super good. Yes, gentlemen, uh, with the gem. I thought of my favorite match now. <laughs> Bobby F. J. Tom said it in the chat room, and I agree wholeheartedly. <laughs> Original King of the Ring matches when they when King of the Ring actually meant something. Yeah, and it wasn't. Yeah, William Regal for five years. I mean. Don't get me wrong. William when it was Regal, a pay per view, when it was like yeah. this is yeah. the rising star, like I became the this yeah. is the next guy. King of the Ring, King Mabel. I mean, shit like that was fantastic. What, what, okay, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Corey Hill's here for a second. King Mabel. Okay, Macho <laughs> King. I mean, all right, all that right. Was just the first one to come by. King Hacksaw King Jim Duggan. It. Hey, Russell fan, shut that. Or like up. things that it did for <laughs> this guy's career, like so yeah. cold. Yeah. But I mean, King of the Ring in it's like awesome. <laughs> They're quoting you already in the chat yeah. room. Uh, <laughs> from the chat, uh, there was some... Uh, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. Said by nobody <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 someone wants to take fantastic. your diamond just for saying that. That's right. Be- when, he got, when he got kicked out of uh, WWE, Big Daddy V was one of my favorites at the time. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> with all- like well, giant- you know what? You know what? I'm the same <laughs> way right now. Because... Greg Cully's my favorite wrestler. You're having time. a big daddy oh, beam uh, with Greg Cully? Uh, can I cut him off from here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Yeah. What? For liking Cully? Yeah. Oh. Sorry. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm kind of behind the Cully train, too. No, Cully's no. good because he takes an awesome neutralizer. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Twice in a week. Yeah. He makes Antonio Cesaro look awesome. Yeah. He's the greatest wrestler ever. They wanted ever. to make oh, yeah. sure everyone saw it. They're like, ah, just go out there and uh, do it that again. That was good enough on Mayhem <laughs> or on main event. Uh, that we will do that on Raw. Yes. <laughs> like, the main event is just kind of like the test program right. at this point. They're like, um, let's be honest. Even though if the hub that like that nobody's watching this. Wait, are they yeah. on the hub? What are they even on? No. I on. Um, hub <laughs> is where they have Transformers on my little Yeah, that's owner. where you watch your Saturday morning cartoons. <laughs> no, he's thinking Saturday morning slam. Which Saturday morning slams on Vortex. Yeah. The get CW. Get your shit right. No, Ninja Turtles. Get your shit right. And Ninja Turtles is on Nickelodeon. The Airbender and the also whatever else you watch. <laughs> There's a link in the chat room to Kali versus Big Daddy V versus Kane versus that Mark Henry. That sounds like a terrible uh, idea. I remember that. That was <laughs> an ECW. So that was an ECW. Why? <laughs> I would watch this. Why? Terrible. Television positively entertaining, yo. Wow. Um, hey, I'm excited because I on television's over the air, so I get to watch it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wrestling Revolution says a bull rope map. Uh, uh, yeah, bull rope map match. Um, uh, three stages of hell was the shit, says Mad Mike. Love to see them try to do that again. Uh, light tube stack death match. Nope. Exploding <laughs> barbed wire cage match. Blindfold match. What's a good blindfold match? Triple H versus D'Lo Brown. <laughs> wow! <How laughs> you were on you. top of that. That was like the second episode. Of, that was like the second episode of Raw I ever watched. Uh, Cry baby <laughs> match, hog pen match. Cry There's baby match was very good. Scaffold inferno match. Scaffold Judy, inferno brawn panties match. Pole match. Wait, <laughs> that's not right. Tuxedo. Uh, I do love me some Judy bag on a pole prison. Match. Woo! Is that your sword? That's your no, favorite. That, so that was uh, I believe Alex it Kirk. would be your same what favorite. What was the, um... the Punjabi prison oh, yeah. match? I bet I don't know. <laughs> remember, like Batista, like that... jumped from one wall to the other. Yeah, remember when it was supposed to be Kali, and then they're like, "Oh, he's gonna be oh, terrible right. on this pay per view." Yeah. So we're gonna put Big Show no, in. No, he had like Punjabi some kind prison. of liver disease or something that oh. he caught, <laughs> and like three people got kicked off the pay per view at the right. last minute because they all got sick. Yeah, it was, That's right. it was weird. But I think <laughs> they also knew he would suck in that match. Oh, uh, pinata on a pool match. Uh, what was, what uh, was coal, Ken, coal miners glove match. Stick, what was Ken Shamrock's match? The lion's dead. The lion's dead. The lion's dead. The lion's dead. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Uh, on that note, is we have some more uh, <laughs> emails, right, guys? Yeah. The email. Uh, uh, Mad Mike sent in some predictions for 2013. Wait, we did that episode. We did. did we? Did. Wait, he was here well, for that. He was here for that. But he didn't do predictions, so I guess he sent him in for this week. Okay. I, I'll, I'll run through them. Uh, greetings, Mayhemers, and happy fucking New Year. As always, I'll start off the New Year with some predictions for 2013. Top five zany predictions for 2013 for the WWE. Number five, Damian Sandow and Cody Rhodes will have the first ever facial hair versus facial hair match. 
Hmm. Number four. Ric Flair and Jerry Lawler will have a real last man standing match. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's getting worse. I, I got to can, 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 can I throw, throw a side? Has anybody noticed Jerry Lawler um, uh, making jokes about his own health? That. Yeah, he, like I believe, that, during, I believe during the, the week, during the oh, May Young return. thing, during the May Young thing, I think he was like, a, I almost wish the doctors of Canada didn't bring me back for that." Oh. Oh. I was like, "What the hell?" <laughs> yeah, he did that during wow. the Jerry, wow. Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> wow, sorry, Russell fan. Uh, number three, the most tear-inducing speech at the Hall of Fame this year, Brooklyn Brawler. Mm, number two. Number two, Daniel Ryan will eventually have a maybe, maybe, maybe shirt out. Hmm. Number one, the New Age Outlaws will become the tag team champions again. I will stop watching. I will stop watching. <laughs> um, top five, uh, wait, went away. Uh, they, top five predictions for 2013 uh, for WWE. See, my proposed my pros, Cesaro versus, versus Ono match, match will not be included. Match be included. I was going to tie it in there. Uh, number five, Money in the Bank winners, Wade Barrett and Antonio Cesaro. Number four, The Rock will have more pay-per-view matches for a world championship than Randy Orton. Hmm. Number three, Ryback and Big Show will be involved in another Breaking the Ring spot. Hmm. Hmm. Number two, Dolph Ziggler versus Chris Jericho will be a world title match at SummerSlam. Hmm. And number one, Biggie Langston and JTG will reform the Nation of Domination <laughs> with Ron Simmons. I got a little excited <laughs> when I saw JTG in the uh, gauntlet match last week on Mayhem. I did. I gotta admit, I feel like if they do that, like it's gonna be like in '98 where they had all those stables, mm -hmm. and the Nation of Domination is just gonna feud with Three Man Band for no reason. No reason. Yeah. Smackdown no Race Wars. Fight. Fight. Smackdown, Smackdown Race Wars. Black, 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 White. Black. White. Indian and British. What? What? Good. Three Man Band. Yeah. Well, he's actually like what? Scottish. Or, or Scottish. Scottish. Whatever. And you just ruined. Joke, I, Congratulations. I Moving on. 2013 five, is now official. Top five zany predictions for 2013 for TNA. TNA as a whole. Moving yes. on. <laughs> number five. <laughs> number five. Robbie T and Jesse from Big Brother will become a couple on TV. Number four. Hulk Hogan will have more pay per view matches than Eric Young. Probably yep. true. Yeah. Number three, Brooke and Hulk Hogan will both hold championships in TNA at the same time. Probably the women's tag team belt. Uh -huh. And then they'll have a live sex celebration. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh polygamy. Uh, is that polygamy? Uh, uh, that's just, no, that's <laughs> incest. <laughs> that is incest. <laughs> polygamy is having unless, more than yeah. one bride, which unless is my Brooke. current situation. But oh. I mean. <laughs> Take that night. wish you could find more than one girl to marry you. <laughs> <laughs> number, number two, WrestleFan will be called out for a gut check at lockdown. His opponent, Rachel Summerlin. That's not nice. Uh, number Dude, number one, somehow I will go back that. to reviewing delightful. TNA. Wait, what? Uh, number one, somehow I will go back to reviewing TNA. I'm actually not that surprised with that one. No, uh, <laughs> that's not zany at all. That's not zany. Uh, no, 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 Bad uh, Mike's a masochist. <laughs> Top five real predictions for 2013 for TNA. Number five, X Division champion heading into Destination X, AJ Styles. Number four, the winner of the Bound for Glory series, Joseph Park. Number three, biggest reveal for Aces and Eights will be that Bully and Brooke were behind it in a Stephanie slash Triple H fashion. Uh. Uh, number two, two more friends of the show will appear on TNA, one of them in a gut check. I can see and that. Number, and number one, next inductee into the TNA Hall of Fame will be Jeff Jarrett. Yeah. 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 It's kind of yes, cool yes, yes, Missy. Uh, uh, TNA still happens. TNA still happens. TNA still yeah. happens. Really? It's still a thing. They didn't stop that yet? No, no, no they I won't stop I thought they started it. calling themselves Impact That's a shame. or something. Yeah, uh, uh, nobody really knows what's going nobody on. Nobody really cares. They never really clarified, and they're still doing it. You know. <sighs> Um, typical TNA thing. Yeah, typical TNA. Exactly. Why do they keep doing that to themselves? <laughs> Why do they keep doing that to us? Why do they keep? Well, they're thing? doing it to you, not me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they don't really bother me. Yeah. I got this one, guys. New Year's resolutions from Alex Cars. He says, "Hello, ten percenters of the wrestling mayhem shenanigans." 2012 is gone, come and gone, and as we move on to the new year, and you know what that means, resolutions. I have a few myself. 
Uh, watch at least one of every show that comes on per week. Raw, Main Event, Impact, SmackDown, Slam. Buy at least one WWE pay-per-view other than WrestleMania. Buy, watch, and enjoy a TNA pay-per-view. Attend at least two indie wrestling events. Wait, 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 I gotta hold back. Buy, watch, and enjoy. Then, yeah. you, then you have to get That's Destination fun. X. There's no other X. choice. Uh, what wrestling resolutions do you guys have for 2013? Until next time, 10 percenters. This is Alex K signing out. Hashtag power to the smarts. Uh, wrestling resolutions? I, I, I'm going to WrestleMania. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, like my back. Ago. it's uh it's kind of gonna be a work weekend but i'm gonna be there <laughs> i have instructed view above the stage i'm gonna say take lots of take lots of obstructed view <laughs> pictures of you from god knows where right. i'm so glad there's giant screens versus another spec. exactly you'll see me when they do that low shot of like john cena when coming out it'll are... be me going <laughs> <laughs> up and up above the stage. Uh, we will look for you when they show the whole place ducking, and they talk about the attendance. Attendance, and they, they're just we like will me. See you then, yeah. Like a, it's like a big Where's Waldo thing. Um, you'll be obstructed by the giant sphere. You'll, you'll probably be behind the, the big screen. I hope it's not a really high stage this year. <laughs> um, so that's happening. And no, that was it. I was just like, I want to go to WrestleMania, and there, and, and I bought tickets. It's probably it's on like the first, like as close as it's gonna come. It, it is, year, it probably. is. So that was like, it's like it's this or bust. I was like, I want to go get nosebleeds, and uh, I have a reason to be uh, in New Jersey that weekend. Uh, that's honestly not even well. It, it's. Yeah, it's kind of WrestleMania related, but still, uh, and hopefully I have more information on that as we get closer to it. Um, yeah, uh, how about how about you guys over there? On the couch, over there in the studio. You're up first this time. What's your uh, wrestling resolutions for the year? <coughs> Awkward side. You're bad at this. <laughs> Phil, Phil. I have Phil, one. Phil, Phil, Phil. I have You're one. Phil, 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 Phil. I Phil. don't have to film anymore. I'm going to attempt to stay awake for an entire episode of Raw. <laughs> no. That's so hard to do now. It is so you, hard. You know, you have to join the Hangout. That's the only way. It is seriously it is the only way. And then sometimes hard. we still fall asleep. In the Hangout. People have fallen asleep in the Hangout. I think I've fallen asleep in the Hangout before. I could probably do that. And somebody threw a well, You would fall asleep in it. Yeah, because I sleep every week during Raw. It no, like hits, but you it fall hits, asleep super easily. It, hit, it hits 8.07 and she's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. Okay, that's enough. Um, oh, John Cena's doing stuff in there. <laughs> I wanted The Rock to be first yes, yesterday. And Cena was, and he totally ruined everything. Hold on. No, they actually play this on Fridays now. So you have to say it was on Monday. Monday? Really? <laughs> what? <laughs> Whatever. Um, you know, that one time that The Rock was on Raw, because it's not going to happen again for a while, so they'll know what I'm talking about. My wrestling... Sure he is. My think, wrestling uh, revolution... Really go to the emergency resolution room maybe have... like once a month. What's that? <laughs> Sorry, I interrupted. I said, thank God The Rock won't be on for a while. I can only go to the emergency room like once a month. <laughs> <laughs> My wrestling res revolution resolution. Revolution. Yes. <laughs> I have a wrestling revolution. That's my resolution. No. My wrestling resolution for this year is to actually have fun with wrestling again. Good. That's sad. I think. <laughs> you look very sad. Is that? <laughs> that's very. I, I was like, that's so sad. I just it's think like, it's sad that you have ever fun. stopped having fun with it. Because when I'm awake, I have fun with it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when I'm when sleeping too. <laughs> Bob, a lunchbox. What's your wrestling resolutions? Or mayhem. Yay! Yay. 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 Seven more years. Seven more Seven years. More year. Seven, Seven more, more years. years. It Seven sounds like we're chanting for a prison sentence. It sounds like we're chanting for a prison sentence. <laughs> we have a um, I'd also like to like to. Go to some more indie wrestling shows, and uh, maybe I'll give TNA another go. <laughs> no, no, no. no. You'll be in the hospital. Oh, I didn't know we were starting with joke resolutions. <laughs> uh. Russell fan, how about you? Uh, I, I'm guessing I'm going to a TNA house show this or a TNA pay per view this year. Yes, you so are. Hold on, hold on. Make, make, 
Maybe I'll go with Alex Cars' thing and actually buy a ticket, watch it, watch it live, and enjoy it. <laughs> it's hard to live stream it in person. Yeah. <laughs> I know, uh, WrestleFan, I'm giving you a resolution. Okay. Your resolution for 2013 is to go to less indie shows oh. and do more of your goddamn <laughs> college work so you don't drop out of college and fail. Actually, I'm pretty much going to fail that. You know, you know I'm not going to fail. I'm going to suck at that resolution because I was going to say another one is I may be going to my second Chikara show, possibly. Throw that out there. I can't not hear about this from you on Twitter right yeah. now. <laughs> it's, I'm excited, okay? I'm, I'm excited because I like indie wrestling and I have nothing better to do. Texas Anarchy <laughs> wants you to meet a girl. <laughs> That is what, what happened to the girl at the cookie shop? And not, and not point at their I think that was the last He's time I was there. He's in San Antonio. He's in San Antonio. He has college girls gone. now. Oh. oh don't they work at cookie shops? Gone where that's the get, memory you have. Get that cookie, Russell fan. Get that cookie. Yes. It's a new resolution. And don't that. point at the cookie. Get it. <laughs> There's an imposter yeah, in the chat I've been room. With, yeah. What? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to derail. A doc remedy. A doc remedy? <laughs> Anybody watching the Laker game? Seriously? <laughs> what the hell? Yes, we are. Can't you tell? Focus. That's exactly what we're doing. Riz, how about your resolution? First is trying to find out who this A Doc Remedy is. Mm hmm But in all fair, um, I want to start. I started. Uh, I, I want to start going to more indie shows again. Is I went to one last month and it was really fun. Yeah. Thank you, thank you Sorg. You're yeah. welcome. And you're welcome for selling probably the worst main event I've ever sold. What was the main event that you sold that we tried? We're like, will somebody buy in, this? In 2000, what, three? Something 2000, like that. 2000, whatever. There was a early IWC show before they had titles. And the undercard was featured Daniels and... AJ Styles. The undercard. Him, the undercard. Undercard. And the main event was Raven versus the Disco Inferno. Uh, you don't want shit I, on Disco Inferno. Even Chuck Taylor picked it up. I. I. It, 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 it's, it's, there's one copy left. There it is right there. There's one copy left. You sold the one other one. One copy left. And I'm still waiting for my pay. You pay? <laughs> <laughs> you may have sold an obscure DVD, but I think I still hold the record for selling the most DVDs. That legend show at was any nuts. Any IWC show. Yeah. But was was it anything like? It was this everything. Inferno and we Raven. ran out of things to give people. <laughs> might have, might have. She might have sold a uh, Jerry Lawler versus Kamala. Oh. So. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. All right. On that, Wrestle Fan, you are obligated to read the next email. There's a next... Oh, yeah, 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 because it's in Spanish. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Hola, amigos. It's me. It's me. It's El Gran Azul. Feliz Año Nuevo, mayhem amigos. I hope your holiday was as muy bien as mine was. Ole! Ole. Ole, there you That's go. That's the shittiest ole ever, you guys. <laughs> Olay. 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 I didn't know. Olay. I didn't know we had lines. Olay! Whoa! <laughs> there, Whoa. There you go. All right, on that note. How bad did I make it spike? I can't see that anymore. How can I tell what I'm spiking now? <laughs> you took away <laughs> my spiking monitor. will give you monitor. an angry look. You have headphones. <laughs> so you'll know. Ah, um, oh, crap. I just lost it. Voicemails. We got a couple here real quick. I didn't get the preview one of these, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, boy. If it loads. Do we yeah, still get them from uh, space? No. Oh, big freaky. No. No. Uh, no, there was, <laughs> no. There was there was a there was a thing about that. Oh, I missed a thing. We shut that I missed down. it. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. You're the rock. You can lick my left and right testicles, you bitch motherfucker. <laughs> oh, seriously, go away. Just go the fuck away. In fact, go away. Fuck you. I hate you. <laughs> What you had in the attitude era was special. Leave it the fuck there. You didn't learn the lesson, did you? You didn't learn the lesson when everybody came out in like, what was that, last year, whenever The Rock came back, it was like, oh, I guess it was for Raw or for WrestleMania. Oh, bah, bah, fuck you, Rock. 
you came out, you did your little promo, smell what the rock is cooking, everybody was happy. And then you kept going. And you kept going. And you kept fucking going. Why? Shut the absolute fuck up. It's unbelievable. John Cena was putting up better promos than you were last year. And yeah. John Cena apes your whole fucking promo style. The entire goddamn thing. Listen to any random John Cena promo. It's very simple. He has the same text. He has general catchphrases like, we're going to do this right here, right now, tonight. That one? That's basically your know your role and shut your mouth. That's a cut phrase? Same thing. Sorry, so, man. when John Cena started doing new, I hadn't seen that. And he started doing serious promos earlier this year. He did one on the last Raw 2012 with Dolph, which was fantastic. I'm glad he did that. I'm glad that John Cena understands he's probably going to be buried in a ball cap of jean shorts. I like that he understands this. CM Punk comes out and in one minute destroys everything that you said. One tiny thing right in your face. Your arms are too short to box with God. <laughs> Game over. You can sit down now, Rock. You can sit down. Both fucking diggities. Sick of your fucking bullshit. Unbelievable. CM Punk, you can be champion forever. You can be you can be Bruno champion forever. I don't care. And he's absolutely right, by the way. CM Punk could have been champion for twenty years if he only had to wrestle one time a month. That's a kind of a tiny shot to the indie guys, but hey, them things. So this has been both fucking diggity. You're fucking welcome. Well, F diggity. The F is for Fauna. Farmer. Woo-hoo. Farmer? Bo Farmer Diggity? Of fauna. <laughs> fauna? Fauna? Was that fauna? fauna? Fa- I also love that sound Fama. effect. That sound effect needs to go with everything. <laughs> no, it does not need to do that. <laughs> that was that should <laughs> not F- happen. Da-da-da. Da-da-da. <laughs> hey fellas, uh, Pat Carlin's here. Your friend in the mainstream media. I'm uh, going into work tonight, so I'm going to miss your big seventh anniversary. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to call and uh, wish you guys a, a happy and blessed seventh anniversary show. Um, I've only been listening for a couple of years, but obviously I like it because it's been listening. Now? But I feel sometimes like I missed out on some of the good stuff. Kind of like, uh, kind of like Russell fan in the Attitude Era. Kind of like he didn't experience it. <laughs> he just knows about it. Kind of like the same thing. Um, I won't take too much more of your time. Let you guys get back to everything else. But uh, just wanted to sign off by giving those who were at the console a couple weeks ago for that four and a half hour death march through. WWE programming. A big salute. And, uh, Chachi, um, I hope it didn't scare you when I accosted you in the men's room. Uh, um, you're a good guy. Thanks for not. Wait, 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 what? What happened? Wait, what? Oh, what? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Damn, uh, damn Mike, so you can tell us what happened. Hold on, somebody t- text me again. Wait, what, what, what's this about? Uh, oh, no, no, come here. Get over to it. Get over here. 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 here. Talking to the mic. Talking to Mike. You're stuck in the chair. You're stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Careful with that one. Yeah, it's fun. Well, you just lost your mic. Yeah, it's fine. She can have it back. Can you see it? <sighs> Let me pull up a chair. So at the uh, the the super show thing that was way too long. It was yep. fun though. It was and still it, fun. It was alright. I I was bored up until the uh, the street fight match. Yeah, because that was just entertaining. <laughs> presence yeah but uh <laughs> that was funny at, all right for the record i don't like zach Ryder. i've made it very clear however yeah, yeah. i did not realize that he was going to be facing david otunga when i went to the bathroom okay it just happened to be that way okay uh, zach Ryder came out i'm like i'm going to take a piss well earlier in the night matt carlins had been tweeting and said that he was uh four sections over mm-hmm and that uh, we should try to at least meet up. It just so happens that we met up in the bathroom. <laughs> Rendezvous in the bathroom. Uh, Completely unplanned. Like, I was, I beelined in there. <laughs> no, there he a, knew. He was, saw Zach Ryder come. He's like, oh, I got to find shots yeah. in the bathroom. There was an open urinal. I had beelined to it. <laughs> and I hear, Chachi. And I turn around, Matt Carlin. 
cool. So, yeah, he dropped me in the bathroom. Was he exposing his bad parts to you at that point? No, no, definitely not. Giving side, it the bat wave. Side note. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> he was just like flashing through the brain, or, as he said, the bat wing. Epic. I, Side note: I don't know why there's never been a porn called Rendezvous in the bathroom. <laughs> there is. There's plenty don't of reasons. Worry. Give me ten minutes, I'll find it. Oh no! <laughs> I, th I thought you were gonna say, "Give me ten minutes." Oh I'll no! Make Safe it. search is definitely <laughs> off on that laptop. Oh no! All right, on that oh. note, it's time for that time of the week. It's time for uh, the best in untelevised professional wrestling. Amateur falling down. It's the Indie Minute. Aha! Untelevised professional wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Uh, mainly because there's other means to check out these. Un <laughs> Someone's smiling. Oh, you're timing me. You're timing me. Okay, I got you. I hey, got you. Hey, it's a minute. Go. Yeah, whatever. You're um, Twenty seconds in. The first thing. <laughs> the first thing. <laughs> Don't worry, he can't count to sixty. <laughs> this is why we're um, only gonna be okay. married for fifty years. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. The first thing I want to talk Thumbs about is up. that. <laughs> All right, that was a great indie minute, guys. Yeah, a great indie minute, yay! All right, I'm done. Okay. Proceed. Um, the first thing I wanted to talk about uh, was an announcement that was made on the Twitter account of our good friends at Absolute Intense Wrestling in the Cleveland, Ohio area. They announced that they will be doing their first ever iPay-Per-View um, for their big Girls' Night Out 8 event, which is going to happen March 1st. Uh, they'll be doing it through Smartmark Video on Demand, which is the big uh, uh, group that's been doing a lot of iPay-Per-View stuff now with groups like Chikara uh, and, and a couple others. So um, it's good to see that AIW is sort of reaching into that um, that realm of iPay-Per-Views, which a lot of companies are going for, which I think is a smart move because you know it's a more way to get you know your product out there for people that aren't just going to be you know coming to your event. Um, and and I, we actually had a good conversation uh, last night in the Raw Hangout about their production sort of increasing because of the whole Smart Mark video stuff. So I think this is a company that can definitely do a lot of great stuff with their pay-per-views. And their, uh, their Girls' Night Out events are always really awesome, I hear. So uh, I would definitely encourage you to check them out. Uh, you can go to AIWrestling.com or go to SMVOD.com, hopefully to get more information soon about the iPay-Per-View that you can check out uh, on your computers. Uh, so definitely go check them out and go support them if you're in the uh, Cleveland, Ohio area or beyond. Uh, and speaking of uh, uh, doing stuff beyond uh, in the world of professional wrestling, National Pro Wrestling Day is coming up, people. National Pro Wrestling National Day. Pro Wrestling Day. National Pro Wrestling Day, um, and more more stuff is coming out about the event. More stuff uh, being announced, uh, including a lot of matches. Uh, I believe all of the uh, afternoon card has been announced, uh, and then they're starting to develop some stuff for the evening card uh, with a lot of great companies, a lot of a lot of uh, talent you know, a lot of companies you know, like Ring of Honor, Chikara, uh, stuff like that, and a lot of wrestlers that, quite frankly, not a lot of people know, which I think is great. Um, you know, it's, it's giving people an opportunity to sort of get out there on a, you know, national platform and, and uh, getting more eyeballs, you know, on uh, the different products <laughs> that go on in indie wrestling. I'm sorry? I said balls. Balls? Okay. I said balls. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's going to be really interesting. Uh, like I mentioned, it's in uh, Philadelphia, and it's an entirely free show. Um, it's, uh, you know... Sort of, sort of come as you are, you know. Um, uh, there's no uh, pay, uh, no paid. Uh, you can't, you don't have to pay for your tickets. Uh, but if you're not going to be in the Philadelphia area, you can uh, order it on uh, iPayPerView on SmartMarkVideoOnDemand.com, uh, which I mentioned before. You can get either the afternoon card or the evening card for nine ninety nine each, or you can get both cards for fourteen ninety nine. Uh, I, I ordered it, and I cannot wait to check it out. Uh, and I think it's going to be a really awesome show. It's going to be February 2nd, uh, and I'm very excited to see what National Pro Wrestling Day sort of has to offer. And uh, 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 from the chat, uh, Texas Arnick is asking, uh, Resistance Pro, will Billy Corgan be there? Mm -hmm. mm, maybe. You may see some celebrity -ness from that company. I didn't know a lot of what Resistance Pro is doing lately, mm. so... That the, that'll yeah, be that's interesting. Okay. That's, that's okay. Neither do they. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but, you, I, but I've seen a lot of companies that, you know, I've only heard vaguely some stuff about, but I haven't really gotten to see any of their products. So this, you know, is a great opportunity to get, you know, uh, more eyeballs on things, you know. 
So, yeah, uh, go check them out. And if you want more information, go to nationalprowrestlingday.com uh, and go order the iPay-Per-View or uh, hopefully go there live in Philadelphia. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is something big coming up down here in the Texas area on January 20th. Uh, coming up, our good friends at Anarchy Championship Wrestling are, have, are holding their flagship event, Guilty by Association 7, uh, also their anniversary event, funny enough, since we're on an anniversary show. See what I did there? Um, so it's going to be it's going to be a really awesome night at the Mohawk in Austin, Texas. Uh, it's going to be awesome, awesome show. Uh, Showtime Scott Summers taking on Jerry Lynn in Jerry Lynn's final match in ACW. Uh, that's probably I think that's going to be like his second to last match before you know he eventually does retire. Uh, I believe in February. Uh, also, Darren Childs taking on front of the show Rachel Summerlin for the Anarchy Heavyweight Title. Uh, ACH versus Matthew Palmer for the World Hardcore Title, and tons and tons of more matches with a lot of great talent. Uh, if you want your tickets for that, you can go to anarchychampionshipwrestling.com. Also, if you want, uh, if you're not in the Austin, Texas area, and you want to get more, uh, you know, stuff on Anarchy, they just released their two uh, DVDs from their August uh, events: uh, Fall from Grace and Distrust, Dismay, and anti Social Behavior on SmartMark Video and SmartMark Video on Demand. So you can get those. Uh, on the DVD version, you can get them as an MP4, or you can get them from SmartMark Video On Demand, which uh, you can stream uh, from your computer. So definitely go check them out. Go to AnarchyChampionshipWrestling.com. And if you're in the Texas area, I hope to see you there on January 20th, because I will be there, and it should be a very, very fun night. Uh, Chop but him. If you are, if you are more... Or, sorry, go ahead, Riss. Chop him. Yeah. Should have left it be. Chop him <laughs> off with your mouth. The Scott Summers is going to be there. Is he's the one that's the brother of Mark Summers and uh, Summer Sanders? <laughs> so what the hell? Uh, I botched that. Yeah, you did. Because I thought her last name teach, was Summers. You yeah. need to teach Remedy the difference between first names and last, last names. Name. Yeah. We're still working on that one. Was well, it the same Scott Summers that shoots laser beams out of his eyeballs? Pretty, pretty close. Pretty close. I, I think you're lying to me. He doesn't have the exactly. mutant X gene. You're a damn I understood. I understood that reference. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> um, so, but, yeah, the Papa Lunchbox is getting less vertical as we go here. We need to finish the minute so he can so he can go rest. I'm nestled. I'm sorry, He's nestled. nestled. Yeah. <laughs> this is the longest minute ever. Yeah. Well, I just got one more story. If you shut the fuck up. Because my good friends at the International Wrestling Cartel have an event coming up January 26, 2013 that Sorgatron Media will be a part of, obviously. Uh, for Payback uh, is the big uh, uh, first show of 2013. And with a lot of shakeups from their last show in uh, 2012, with uh, Norm Connors being back, that's mm -hmm. going to be... A uh, very interesting shakeup. Uh, the main event, John McChesney defending his newly won IWC heavyweight title against unbreakable Michael Elgin. Canadian Bill DeMott! Yes! I, wow! I, I would contest that Michael Elgin is a little <laughs> bit above Bill DeMott, but I'll, I'll give you that. That's why he's um, Canadian El Bill DeMott. Canada's above America. Uh, good, good point. I didn't even think of that. That's a stretch on uh, but the, Michael Elgin, if you've never seen him before, is absolutely insane. Um, and that's going to be a very uh, uh, intriguing matchup. I'm very intrigued to see uh, Chachi filming at ringside and not hopefully not getting murdered. That would be that would be super sweet. Wait, what am I doing um, don't worry about it. I'll show you a match later. <laughs> You'll be fine. Uh, I'll, I'll send you the Davey Richards match with him. Yeah, that's true. Um, so, yeah, go to IWCWrestling.com to get tickets for that event in Elizabeth, Pennsylvania. Uh, and you can go uh, check them out. And go check out the Sorgatron Media Group. They're going to be there, and they're going to be doing stuff. So you get to uh, meet some awesome people that you hear on this show and get to see some phenomenal wrestling in the PA area. Uh, and that, my friends, is the Indie Minute for this week. Thank you, Wrestle Fan, for that minute. And with that, we're going to go check out what's going on on, oh, oh. on Mayhem Gold, which you can get on the app. Shave your face. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's the Someone... only thing that reminds me that I'm a man. <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh, oh. That's All not right. saying much. Quit, quit calling. 
quit college. You have a bright career as a comedian. <laughs> oh, what the hell? He's bringing his A game this year. DJ Lunchbox, uh, I think you were going to take off here. Mm. I hope we hear from you tomorrow. Yeah, I, can I? Oh, yeah, I, I want to share my story okay. uh, with everyone. I think this will be a good segue into the second half. Um, I, I am to take off because uh, I was actually in the ER last night. Um, around well, Raw ended. We all watched Raw on the Hangout, and we talked about The Rock and and, and um, CM Punk for a little while. Uh, and it was probably about eleven thirty or eleven forty-five that I uh, closed the computer, and I uh, went into the bathroom and uh, got d- just insanely ill in the bathroom. Violent throwing up, terrible things coming out of every hole in my body. It was awful, absolutely terrible. Now, it would be fine if that just happened, but it didn't stop. It kept going and going. I couldn't sleep. I was miserable around 3.30 in the morning. Um, I, uh, I actually called an ambulance, went to the hospital. They gave me fluids. I was super dehydrated. They gave me anti-nausea medication, which didn't work at first. And they had to give me a stronger one with a sedative, and um, uh, and I didn't get back to my home until like ten o'clock this morning, um, with uh, a lot of help from Lady Lunchbox. Now the point of this story uh, is that the doctor said it's probably food poisoning. Oh, and he was half right. What actually poisoned me was Cookie Puss. I firmly believe that The Rock's terrible promo put the illness inside my body. <laughs> and I was just trying to expel it in any way that I could. Wow. And I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm a lot better than I was. I couldn't really talk before. It was just kind of writhing around in pain, but yeah. Well, one, that's good. Two, have you ever seen a cookie post ice cream cake? I'm not surprised that that would give someone food poisoning. <laughs> Goddamn Carvel. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's why I'm taking off for the second half. But uh, yeah, anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> LB, thanks a lot for uh, sticking through it uh, to join us here. Uh, you get better, all right? Night, everybody. Thank you. Night, and I say we're going to go check in with the best thing, me. I'm Joe Gold. What's going on there? And we'll be right back with the Remember When you look at i don't know, I don't know. you like this like like eyeline thing going on here though at yeah, least there's like cameras in the oh, oh well, there's I that mean, usually uh, i'm talking to one yeah. person well so. since i have to talk to them on monitors i'm gonna talk to monitor <laughs> 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 all right so at the next red light chad the shad yelled out the window oh yeah well mothra ain't got shit on me <laughs> watch monitor sword <laughs> Watch Monitor Sword and you'll pick up on what he's putting down. You'll bag what he's mowing. What? what? There's snow on This is very fine decor, by the way, Sword. I do I enjoy, enjoy these cattails and <laughs> pussy willow and <laughs> lilies and whatever else is back here. Thank you. The, uh, the Doc Remedy is uh, is checking out the, the foliage here in well, Mayhem Studio. When I was here, there was a big vinyl sign the banner yeah so well the banner is being used actually on the road so uh. <laughs> uh when we do our dvd tables and such in the con so so we we've decorated no no i like i like i like this it gives a nice rustic feel to the joint rustic 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 the, the I think, shut up <laughs> remedy, remedy, you're auditioning for house hunters mm. no well, with that, we are back guys uh wrestling mayhem house. show with We're our back. with our returning co-hosts Still with this Doc Remedy and Mayhem yes. Missy. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Have you? Did you see our video, Sorg? Your video. We did that at our wedding reception. After we, we entered, we I, all went. Yes. I was at. Yes. Was, yes. Oh well. Yes, he was at the Sword wedding as well. <laughs> well, the rest of you then, all you little video screen people, <laughs> did you see <laughs> our awesome video? The people that live no, in the video. No, we were we, we're on <laughs> the trend. video, so we can't see other people's videos. I guess not. It <laughs> was on the Instube. <laughs> yes, it's on the Instube. I did not see a pop up on the Instube. Um. I think the only thing I think the only thing that could have made it better is if Missy just ran out doing the yes, and then this remedy just starts a fire. Like, <laughs> I, I debated, but the whole AJ skipping thing in those heels, 
might have been a bad idea. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, yeah, no. So, so, so you know, we—I don't know if you, we did this when you guys were still here. Do, 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 did you guys do a remember one? I don't think so. Was that, I think that's sense. It sounds confusing to me. It sounds confusing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this is the point where we like to throw back and remember when. Is that what we have to do? <laughs> Respect the pause. <laughs> what was that look on your face? You're just like disgusted <laughs> with the whole process. <laughs> trying to pretend I understand what's happening. <laughs> so this is the point where we remember, we look back, typically on pro wrestling things we remember. But it and then we the look to the right. And we, we, we don't, we don't right. look back, we just look. Well, they, uh, we just look to the right and we just see in our literally rear view mirror to the right. what's it, right behind us. It would us. be so much better if we I did get like it. this. You need... Uh, what is he doing? What is he doing, <laughs> WrestleMania? Back. Turn around. I'm looking Turn back. This way. I don't want to look at your back. <laughs> this is some fetish thing that I'm into where I have to look at your back and this be like. Texas is that thing. what they do in college it's, these days? It's a Texas college thing, and you can only pay him in doubloons. Eh. I would love to pay people in doubloons. <laughs> then move to Texas. No, there is a comedian. <laughs> um, I think it was Louis C.K. who had the skit where, like, I wish you could just pay people in bag of coin. And it was always enough. Like, yeah. They used You're to just like, like, here you go. Oh, <laughs> just day. toss little Satchel bags day. of coins yeah. at people. Day. You said once a year. Yeah. You should walk around with a coin purse full of gold coins. And that's all you're allowed to pay. <laughs> exactly. And you'd walk in and be like, hi, I'd like a drink, a cigar, a shot, a room, a whore, a bath. This should be enough. Chink. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. If I could walk into Permanis and, like, give me a sandwich, a yingling, a hand job, another sandwich, two more beers, and a wave Sork. goodbye. Tink. Sork, Sork, Sork. Yes. When did they start selling hand jobs at Permanis? <laughs> when they I went need, global. I need to come yeah, back to Pittsburgh. <laughs> no, because you're not, just like you didn't finish the sandwich, you're not going to finish the hand job. Anyways. Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, you don't wait, have reproductive organs, so you couldn't sandwich. finish it to begin with. Oh! My hair smells like burning, because that was a burn. What? <laughs> I don't know. You oh, God, let's remember one, one please. One. Let's remember one some moments from the Mayhem show. I remember that burn. Yeah. <laughs> no, I got awesome one. Do, I, I, think, do well, I look to the right if I if I have one? No, no, you, you can just <laughs> no, you don't have to raise your hand. You can go ahead and just tell us. Um, I remember when the Mayhem Show did a tribute to Kane. <laughs> and we May nineteenth. Yes, that was it. You know, every on year May when 19th, May nineteenth comes around, we had red lights. In the studio, it was so hard on the eyes. I still have those light bulbs. But we did it for Kane. In my basement. We did it for Kane. I have those light bulbs still. Yes, you do. It was like we you like just reflected on Kane, didn't yes, we? Yes, yeah. we just thought about all the crazy storylines he had, all the dead women he fondled, <laughs> and all the people he lit on fire, and it was good. Remedy, do you ever remember when? I remember when. <laughs> That's how we do this. He told me I didn't have to. Well, I just made it up. I decided I wanted to. So now I have to do it again. Whatever. I remember when. We we're going to edit this in post, right? Totally. He edits uh, this whole show. Totally. Yeah, completely. Yeah. That's how it gets up by tomorrow. Any, anyway, those, yeah. I remember a time when we were at your other house. Oh. oh. This is going oh. And there was only a hand, couple people. There was only a hand. There was a hand. Yes. It was a sword in the room. and a hand. <laughs> it was like Thing. But the Adam's family thing. This is the best there. podcast ever. And there were seven listeners. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, right, right. And not much has changed. <laughs> but there was a certain person who was the guest last year, Steam Machine, mm -hmm. who went on a blackout rampaging <laughs> rage about how he hated retards. <laughs> and how he wanted them off his streets, out of his schools, out of his communities, etc., etc. I'm sure if you dig back into the annals of Wrestling Mayhem Show history, you might be able to come across that rant. And, and he was definitely a lot more subdued last year. Yeah? Like, I think he's on some kind of medication. He's on some Prolax. <laughs> yeah, it's for Prolax. Prolax? I don't it? know what that is. I was going to say Ritalin. <laughs> 
No, Ritalin didn't work. I was on it for that's like, like five that's years. Like the weird com- that's like the weird combination of Prolax and or Prozac and laxatives. No, I was going to say, I was going for Xanax and Prolax or whatever. He's calmed down now, apparently. <laughs> but at the time, he raged for a good ten minutes. And then, like a werewolf untransforming out from underneath the moonlight, <laughs> he came back to <laughs> and was like... What just happened? He had no <laughs> recollection of said rant and rampage. Bobby, Bobby has joined us here uh, during the break. Uh, do you have any uh, flashback moments? Um, I'm kind of new to the newer to the Mayhem show. Um, mine probably would be when we all sang in the arms of the angels for uh, <laughs> TNA. <laughs> yes. To adopt TNA divas or knockouts. Yeah. When did, yeah. When uh, did somebody die? Or when were people in TNA mistreat? <laughs> This is around the time where it was uh, disclosed that, uh, uh, who was it? Um, was, it was, was one of the knockouts. Uh, oh, the one Test Smocker was uh, working at Hooters. Was working at Hooters. Oh, yeah. uh, we knew about uh, uh, what's her, uh, Taylor Wilde that worked at the Sunglass Hut while she was the knockouts champion. Mm-hmm. So we kind of rolled that all together and we showed the thing where the, the, the where uh, Test Smocker was in the... Uh, Hooters contest. Bikini search, yeah. Yeah, the bikini search, and so we, we just turned into a whole donation thing. Nice. So, help a knockout. It's on YouTube. We, we, we did a great Sarah McLaughlin. <laughs> Wrestle, what's that? That was my greatest accomplishment. It was starting that, yes. <laughs> uh, Chachi, Chachi, do you have a moment? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I already said that that's my greatest accomplishment on the show. Okay, it's your greatest accomplishment, and therefore your favorite memory. I will memory. never top that. Nope. And he walks away with eyeballs on his head. <laughs> uh, Russell fan, what's your favorite moment? Uh, there's a lot of great and a lot of scary moments from the show. Um, I think for my you, personal you favorite. Personally? That, you know, those red lights were pretty scary. Yeah, they were scary. <laughs> um, I think my personal favorite was when we did the uh, Ladies of Mayhem show, <sighs> where the ladies decided to take over. And. Uh, they spent the show with uh, DJ Lunchbox and Doc Remini duct tape to chairs. We did. Uh, to the side, <laughs> which I re- which we were on blog-, on blog TV at the time, and I really wanted somebody to just visit the website and just call the police. <laughs> It'd be just like when the NWO invaded. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and that was that was a fun show. Um, and I think, it, I think it was a great example of the humor that we like to provide, you know. Hey, we think this would be a kind of interesting idea to just duct tape these guys and put them over in the corner. Let's do that. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, Riz, how about you? I, oh, gosh. If you're not watching right now, there's a Hulk Hogan Wrestle Buddy on my head. There is. <laughs> and the first time I actually used this Hulk Hogan Wrestle Buddy was on my head when the guy in the chat room stopped the show asking to put shoes on heads. I did not have a shoe, so I used the wrestle buddy. But now, since the history has changed about Hulk Hogan, there is Hulk Hogan's balls are actually touching me on my head right now. Balls deep. Balls deep. It's not. I just realized that, so I'm going to take this right off <laughs> and probably throw up. Riz, what you gonna do when Hulk Hogan goes balls deep on you? Oh, <laughs> brother, no. Um, wow. On that note, uh, from Sword ooh, from the chat room. Yes, yeah, Sword. Uh, no, no. Somebody took mine. I gotta think of a new one. Uh, from the chat room. Uh, Who took yours? What was the was, one that was taken? It was. It was gonna be. Well, you know what? I can. I can expand on one. At, You're gonna do balls deep on Hulk Hogan. Uh, because I mean, in particular, I I, I remember when um for the ladies takeover show when you guys were tied up and stuff and, 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 and you fell over at one point, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. And you were being beat with sticks. I was being <laughs> <laughs> I think Veronica was taking the kendo stick to you guys. So, so there was that. We, uh, um, didn't you also, Remedy also took a, managed to take a picture of himself and sent it to Jimmy DeMarco asking for help. <laughs> yes. no, Jimmy we were DeMarco hoping he would show far. up, but <laughs> I attempted to get rescued by Jimmy DeMarco. And f- fun fact, Jimmy DeMarco actually thought I was in trouble for a brief second. <laughs> until, I, until I told him that it was had to do with the Mayhem show. He was seriously ready to round up the troops and come rescue me. <laughs> it's going to be the Jimmy DeMarco attack group, huh? Yeah. Wow. 
Wow. Um, uh, from the chat room, uh, like I said, uh, we had uh, uh, Mad Mike says he misses Miss McMitch's. I bet Jessica's still in the fucking closet. Uh, um, uh, 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 uh. Oh, yeah. And Wheels, Wheels uh, has mentioned about uh, right before, uh, he was on the show right before IWC's Base Brawl and cut a goofy promo. Um, Cars uh, remembers when Riz first added me to the Facebook group to get me to vote for him on last year's Mayhemies. And I still lost. You probably didn't vote lost. for me, dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, there you go. So there you go. Remember when the man. Can, uh, yeah. can I bring up one, more, one last one? Go, nope. go for it. Because no I think it just needs to be, because <laughs> I think it just needs to be remembered. Anything the Stoke Monkey did. Oh, the Stoke Monkey! <laughs> I miss Stoke Monkey. Birth of the Stoke Monkey. St- Stoke Monkey was probably one of the greatest things that happened there for a while. And I'm not just saying that yeah. because I was once inside the Stoke Monkey. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Also balls deep. Mm. <laughs> monkey <laughs> balls deep. Good times, guys, and here's We're to another. Good times. Times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now let's go with Mad Mike's Mayor to Mayhem, the first for 2013. Oh. Finally, Mad Mike has come back to the minute of mayhem. Okay, guys. So The Rock came back on Raw. Um. And again, it's almost like we were here the exact same place last year. Because <laughs> we were. Rock's still doing some lame ass, tired bullshit. I mean, it was. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't think he's going to win at the Rumble. I really don't. I think. There's enough with the shield or Brad Maddox or something like that for them to kind of get out of that. And plus, if The Rock wins at the Rumble, do people really, really think he's going to be in a match in the Elimination Chamber? At Elimination Chamber? Me personally, I'm thinking no. But, um, yeah, but Rock will be going to Mania as champion. Kind of sucks, but you know, whatever. It'll be okay, I guess. I mean, it's not like he's bad in the ring. I just don't want to hear his lame promos every week, especially since I almost called Way Sound Twitter. I I thought he was going to have some sort of crack joke about CM Punk. I thought he was going to say CM Super Crack Monkey. He went pop by the crackhead. You know, it's really one way or the other. But uh, so yeah. Anyway, um. Wrestle fan, and I get into a little bit last night on Twitter, which, by the way, motherfucker, you owe me five bucks. I don't forget about this shit. You owe me five bucks. Um, about Zack Ryder. WWE, like, their do you know facts are usually kind of interesting, but last night they just blatantly lied. And I don't get, like, I know people on the show aren't the biggest fans of Zack Ryder, but they're like he should have been acknowledged for how many Twitter followers he has. If he had over a million followers, how do you not like recognize that? Especially people who follow Zack Ryder. Like if you're acknowledging that people that Twitter is a big part of WWE, then you should acknowledge that even someone who doesn't get a lot of exposure like Zack Ryder can have a lot of Twitter followers. But anyway, um, TNA was a thing that happened last week. (laughs) I mean, we got Mike Knox. And... His beard is now the second impressive thing, the second most impressive beard in Tiana in a uh, wrestling today. I'm sorry, Daniel Bryan has taken taken that crown from him. But I don't know the season eight thing. I don't even think we're gonna get a reveal about it until lockdown. And at lockdown, it'll probably be revealed that WrestleFan is behind the Ace and Eights. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, 
This has been Mad Mike for the minute this week. I hope you guys enjoyed my predictions. Peace, bitches. Uh, that's that's what I'm picking out of this whole thing. That's, you got that's, Mike Knox. That's the part I got. Um, wrestle, Mike Knox. Fan. I'm gonna go back to and do another another remember one. Uh, remember <laughs> when <laughs> the Wrestling Mayhem show was obsessed with Mike Knox, and Michael we Knox. decided that there. I don't know. Did did you draw it? I think I drew. There was the drawings of how he evolved, the evolution like a Pokemon. Of oh, would I evolve. That. I remember because he started. He started with the knock. He had a, like a, a knock sling he... with like a little bit of a beard, and then the beard <laughs> got long. And he eventually learned how to do the little arm pose thing. And yeah, yeah, Mike Knox, Michael Q. Knox. <laughs> hey, Spark, What's what was uh, what was Michael Q. Knox well known before he became Mike? What? What? <laughs> no story. lie we were sitting upstairs i think we we're watching a pay-per-view and sorg was doing something for the ma'am show or whatever and he looks to the rest of us and he goes hey what was mike no- what was mike knox uh name before he was michael q knoxville <laughs> something like that it was like because he's like was- freaking deacon or something wasn't he no or- no no, no, no. He thought michael q knoxville was, was his what? real name <laughs> Like, we have was... been using it so often on the show that I just started to be like, wait a minute, and referring to him and forgetting that yes. that wasn't Michael his real name. Michael Q. Knoxville, born with banshees. <laughs> born with banshees? <laughs> it's like but a 19... wrestle fan? We don't have I... stuff like that anymore. Nobody, nobody th- th- these days <laughs> are as inspiring as a Michael Q. Knoxville <laughs> or... or God, I, I, I remember I remember when we got so happy when he was just fucking up Rey Mysterio on Raw and just like downward spiraling people and it was it was fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah. The I most mean, exciting thing I've had happen on wrestling so far is Rye Black. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, you, okay. Okay. Biggie Langston, Rye Black. The Rye Black, yeah. yeah. Well, well we did have Black Lesnar. Black Lesnar, yeah. 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 We we uh, had, uh said he was a combination of Riz and Wheels. Yep. Rye Black? Like, yeah, Dra- Dragon Ball Z merger of the two. He's got the feature of wheel, or he's got the features of Riz, but the color yeah. with the, <laughs> the blackness of This, this math doesn't <laughs> work. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait this math wait. doesn't work at all. I, wait, why are you working on Soundwave over there? It's just like, it's just I, I need to change Soundwave. But, you just. But can I change the subject for one minute? No. no. Yes. Okay. I give you permission. Thank you. Um, <laughs> now, Wrestle Fan. I'm, you know, I'm not a big supporter of Mad Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Down with Mad Mike. For any of us. But, <laughs> oh, but I was wow. In your bet. Oh yeah, I'll so do that next you, week. No, what? Uh, let me finish. Wait, who's going in his bed? No bet. Oh bet. bet. He's, he doesn't even know if he's a man I, or not. I he can't have people in his bed. <laughs> Anyways, Russell never makes his you bed. You do owe Mad Mike yeah, puppets five dollars. I do. And are you playing in the balloons? Remember, <laughs> remember the other I'm, part. I'm a, U, I'm a UPS man, Mike. Just a shit ton of coins. Yes. <laughs> Bag. Do you remember the other part? Yeah, that I have to be nice to him for a show. For it this did, show. It, uh, yeah, I didn't say what show. He said for the next show and tw- the first no. show in 13. No. 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 I'll do it next week. I'm doing it next week. Oh. <laughs> Unle- unless we get an okay for Mad Mike. It's this damn. week. You're gonna be uh, cursed. Bobby, I believe this is yours. Uh, comments from the unwashed masses. Yes, new segment. New segment. Uh, comments from the unwashed masses regarding okay. Raw last night. Um, okay. I went through uh, WWE's Facebook post <laughs> and collected the best uh, comments from. Uh, this is the from just post- like Facebook.com/slash WWE. Yes, from the most idiotic people on Facebook. Okay. Oh, this These is gonna are- be good. These are actual quotes written word or read word for word what they what they post. Okay. Okay. All capital letters. May I ask what kind of drug CM Punk is on? Time for a random drop, maybe? Vince, get this druggie off the air. I might have to go back to watching Sting. You people remember him, right? Hmm, Sting or CM Punk? That's easy with a Z. Sting. <laughs> This was liked by two people. <laughs> Wait, was it was it E A Z Y or was it E Z? E A Z Y. Oh, that's not even no. Okay, comment number two. This is my favorite. D 
Dear WWE, stop to use John Cena, how a teddy bear, he is one of the best wrestler in the world of ever. Thank you for the attention, a fan. But the teddy bear that was, was the... That is well, how it was written. He just said, okay, so he said stop using John Cena and that he was the greatest wrestler of all time. Yeah. I would teddy bear somehow got in there too. <laughs> okay, um, next one. Well, after watching the Ryback CM Punk title match, I hope The Rock kicks the living crap out of Punk at Rumble, Cos, C-O-S. His tiltle, T-L-T-L-E, is a load of crap. What a tit he is. Oh, he wait, gets wait, help. What a tit you are! He gets help all the time, time for a change. <laughs> Triple H, get your act together, lest I'll go to Impact with the Hulkster. Come on! I like these people threatening to go to TNA. Yeah. <laughs> and the final one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rock, you beat C- you beat CM Punk in the Royal Rumble, and after elimination, Champer. John Cena, all one word, win 2013 Royal Rumble, all one word, and challenge you for WWE Championship in WrestleMania at John Cena, beat you and become 11-time WWE Champion, parentheses, the champ is here. (laughs) And that was comments from the unwashed unwashed masses. And this is why social media works so well (laughs) with WWE. This is how, this is why, what their page of 11 million likes is, uh, is is filled with. Um, yeah. That was just four. There were many, many more. I mean, there's some of the, the, there's, is it, is it safe to say, like, if you, if you follow much of the, 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 the hashtags on Raw and SmackDown, this was Facebook. I don't, I've even tried Tout lately. Um, uh, the <laughs> shakes of the head. Um, I mean, this I'm is, sorry, I've never ranted about that. Fuck Tout. Seriously. Okay. <laughs> Thank think, you. I think Tout is the dumbest bullshit ever. I know I said it, it. I'm pretty sure somebody else may have said it. Wrestle fan, whatever. Chachi. Chachi probably even. It's like imitation TRL is what I see when I see it. <laughs> like, I'm waiting I'm waiting for the videos of like, ah, I can't believe John Cena's going to win. Ah! Like right <laughs> wait, wait, was that, that was the kind of thing. We're, we're, like, at some point, That's I didn't know if it was on the show. Of, that was gonna yeah, happen. we were afraid of, like, like we would be watching a match, and mm-hmm. then you'd have a towel like that yes. pop up in the middle of a match. Uh-huh. Then it's over. Yeah. It's yeah. just over. I mean, no. Right now? The, the first couple times they did it, like, I know, uh, who was it? Was it uh, Claude? No, Jericho was doing it, where he was touting, like, from the announcer's table, like, yeah. look at what just happened. Yeah, yeah. Like, that was kind of cool. But, and they like, still do some cool stuff. Like, I saw something I, I posted on the, the group about uh, Daniel Bryan was using town. There was actually mm-hmm. some interesting stuff. If you follow some of the wrestlers, they're doing some fun stuff with it. But the mm-hmm. moment you start taking the fans and just trying to smash it in there... The unintelligence of the general wrestling popul- populace mm-hmm. is uh, just going yeah. to like exude and so notice, much. It's they like, don't do it look so at much. all these dumb people that watch. Our you don't. Our you don't do it so much. They do in select situations where they can control it. They because they they can't just have a live stream. Because oh my god, you know. Yeah. Uh, but if if you actually follow, have you looked at on uh, iPhone, iPad, uh, Android uh, the app and watching the raw active? They put tweets in there from regular people. I've seen Mark and Al, who's a you know really good t- tweeter uh, during Raws and stuff, pop up on there a few times. Uh, they have a live stream. I don't know how how much they're looking at that because there's see a lot of different people on their just Twitter stream. And it looks like just they're just following like the raw hashtag and stuff like that. Um, so I think that's a better idea of what they're doing with Twitter. And there are some interesting tweets that are kind of rising to the top there. I feel so bad for the people that have to go through all that crap. Like, especially Al- Al- Alexander Cars brings up a good point. For some reason, they had the doctor tout that Punk was medically cleared to wrestle. Why? Because they like to tout their own horn. Yeah, yeah. that was like, like something uh, like that, where it's like, well, the doctor touted the results. It's like, seriously? What? Why? Did we have to do yeah. that? Um, 
But but then there's things like the the Seamus thing where he took like Alberto Del Rio's car and like touted yeah. the stuff, you know. What we don't even do don't even get me started on that. Well, it was other than your your uh, personal... other than the segment was horrible. I get what you're no, saying. No, it was hilarious. I'm sorry. No ah, matter how dude. insensitive it is to your people, wrestle fan, it was funny. <laughs> Racism's <laughs> funny some of the time. Okay. He the car. Uh, he pooped in a car. No, it was a burrito. Come on. I guess it's the same thing. Um, but still, like stuff like that's pretty interesting, and, and I like like seeing stuff like John Cena tweeting or uh, touting uh, stuff from like people doing ridiculous shit with weights in his gym. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's not something I'm completely into, but like every once in a while, it's like, oh my god, look at that. Um, I mean, th- there's definitely positives to it. The thing that just bugs me is why is it not being used anywhere else? I have not seen tout used. No. Anywhere it, but yeah. the WWE. Well, yeah, yeah. They, it's been around did for they a bit. make it up? No, no, no but they bought into to, it. Okay. And they try to spin it like celebrities are using it, but you uh, like you're not gonna what you're not gonna go to like I guess okay. Inside Edition or like uh, whatever like E or something and say oh yeah. they touted this. They're mm-hmm. not mentioning count. The only one that's mentioning count is WWE. It's not like it's a thing. But then again, like just by virtue that you are WWE and you're talking about it, that makes it relevant because how many freaking people watch WWE? 11 million people like their Facebook page. There's an audience. And even if you just get those people on Tau, Tau is making out. Yeah. Biggie Langston touted today. Did he really? Yeah, he did. Oh, Lord. I mean, um, I didn't see the Tau, but I've heard rumors. Rumors of a tout. Rumors of a tout. Like like <laughs> Texas, wait, wait, wait. Texas Anarchy g- brings up a good point. I love watching watching cell phone videos in HD. This is like indie wrestlers <laughs> doing cell phone promos. Pretty much. <laughs> it is. It is. But it's like it's guys that are actually being paid doing cell phone promos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but at least it's, it's down to 15 seconds. So you don't have the horrible five-minute indie promo. Yeah. There's like, yeah. I don't care. I don't care about your history. I don't know who you are. You know, that whole thing. I feel like tout is for people who can't spell. It's Twitter for people who can't spell. <laughs> okay. And I was always a big fan of it because it's made video that much easier to do. You know what I mean? And you weren't stuck with people doing too long of videos. It's 15 seconds. If you made a 15-second video feel too long, you're really fucking doing it too, too wrong at that point. Um, but, but I think there's a lot of applications for it. And there's real people using it. Mm-hmm. RMU starting to use talent. Really? Yeah. What are they using it for? Uh, Sorry. Like, students, <laughs> they're working on it. Uh, I, I know <laughs> Sp- Spoon's their social media guy out there. Ah. Uh, friend of the show. What? I don't know that. Yeah, yeah. I had lunch with him a couple. We've been talking about talent, and, and he's been he's been experimenting with it. Um, so they've so been working another man. Have been experimenting with, <laughs> with video, nonetheless. Um, and but, videotaping it. Well, no, they, <laughs> like, they stuff How like. How much is that sell for in the black market? Do they tout it? You wouldn't even know. <laughs> I. <laughs> it's, is it on tout? It's 15 seconds of black market gold. <laughs> Sorg, I posted the uh, Biggie Langston tout in the uh, doc. I completely derailed his <laughs> thought process. You broke him. Oh, uh, yes. It didn't even take a whole episode, and I completely <laughs> broke his thought process. Oh, it feels like the old days. <laughs> Vintage wrestling mayhem show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, take it somewhere. <laughs> I'm looking at this, at this ugly point, you fan don't. art right now. In the now. past, we just said, okay, Phil. next topic. <laughs> Riz, something? Look, just look at that. A man. What the fuck? That is the rock. Fan art. Fan art? Oh, fan. He has zero hell? waist. Yeah. He he has no racing? waist and gigantic forearms. That is gigantic weird. everything above the waist. That is okay. not anatomically possible. No. At that scale, he has Z negative penis. <laughs> like WrestleFan. Oh. 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 Wow. Sorry. Oh. He said it. He said it. His facial hair is the oh. only thing that makes him know he's a man. <laughs> wow. So, uh, hey, by the way, breaking news I'm seeing in the chat room, and I'm only spoiling it because it's on the front page, but Alberto Del Rio just won the world title. <laughs> Don't know where they're going with this, but okay. 
All right. I like it. I Why like it. They... When did he have a title? I, 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 Smackdown. I like it because it's dope. Taping. I, didn't they do that just recently, too? They said that someone won the... Yeah, Wade Barrett. Why are they, why are they giving that away? I don't well, no, he, he no, that was a live show. show. Okay. Wait, what? Wade Barrett won the IC title at a live... I thought event. he won it on Raw. No, no, no he, he won, won it on, 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 on Raw. Yeah, yeah, it was but it was a tape Raw. It was a tape Raw. Because of the Hall of Fame. Yeah, because it was New Year's Eve. So why do they tell people that instead of... Because they think it's going to make people watch it. Because they think it's going to make people watch it. Yeah, they think watch it on Friday then. No. It's like that... So what happened to the big show? It's like Mick Foley. Uh, I don't know. The Rock's promo made a meal. It was a last I'm stand. Happy, no, it, it was a last man standing match. What? what? Oh. When, when, when did they advertise this? They didn't. They don't. They didn't. They just oh. said they were having a title match last night. Uh, I, I missed that part, too. I wonder if Big Show's hurt or something. Uh, Big Show maybe. failed a drug test. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Growth hormone, because that makes I'm, I'm sense. Happy, I'm happy Big Rico has a show title now. Stacking right. up on the growth hormones. Maybe it's an anti-growth hormone. Yeah, this is interesting. What the wrestling revolution says, uh, uh, because the spoilers will come out uh, anyway, they want to be the first to say it. True. So I guess there's, you know, that gets some traffic, you know. Did somebody say growth hormone? <laughs> it was HGH. There you go. <laughs> Jeff, I'm, I'm just happy because that's what he gets for beating up Ricardo Rodriguez. Oh, uh, okay. That's, that's what right. you get. No See, that's, gets, that's, that's what you get when you no one, kill no, Santa Claus. No one gets comeuppance for getting uh, for beating up Ricardo Rodriguez ever. So I'm happy for that part. Uh, he got rewarded and, for killing Santa. And in related news, uh, Joe Dombrowski is apparently uh, tweeting, this is a stun gun. Guys, treat this like a second dick. Ladies, <laughs> treat this as if you had a dick. Yeah, I have no idea. What is going what? on with Joe Dombrowski right now? Um, I think it's because he started earlier. tanning again. Yeah, yeah it's he's messing with tanning him. again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's it for the first time in 15 one. months, he's gone to the tanning bed. Wow. Why? Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm consulting with the rock. orbs. Don't with the orbs. <laughs> consulting Aww, with the orbs. Right the orbs. Now. Yeah. All right. Uh, we, we got we got a couple items here. Uh, first of all, like we did mention it briefly, John Cena to replace Fred Flintstone on the Fruity Pebbles box. Yeah, I did see. Yeah. Because he was just like I guess in the top. Basic part of the economics. What was the other one you said, Riz? Oh shit! I had a lot of them. Let's yeah, see. Uh, um. You can't see me, but you can taste. I forget what was that one. You can taste um, me. <laughs> you can taste oh. me. Uh, uh, but you can taste the delicious fruit flavor. That yes, yes. Wow. Uh, there was another one I did. That was, was funny. Isn't there like? Isn't there slogan like sixty four pieces in every mouthful? <laughs> what? <laughs> I swear I saw that on one of their commercials. It's like, when has that, when has that been a Fruity Pebbles slogan? It does not sound like that would be a Fruity Pebbles thing. I'ma look it up. <laughs> so there's oh, that. If, uh, what? You want some? Go get some. This one's mine. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like the quotes for this. Uh, we've just been talking uh, from from a uh, uh, post saying uh, we've just been talking to kids. They want more variety. Fred isn't necessarily the coolest or most relevant guy for kids who we are going he after. He hasn't been for years. Yeah, he's like you're just they figuring this out now. Great. Seriously, uh, okay. this is going to be a limited run. I think they said about four million boxes. Uh, so, so I mean, it's not permanent or anything like that. He's not completely replacing them. And actually, the picture I saw, he's actually on there with like Bam Bam or something like that, a cartoon John Cena, which is kind of cool. Um, so, you know, hey, there goes the... You know, I'm wondering if Slam is a backdoor pilot for a Super Cena uh, uh, warning cartoon Super show. Cena Crunch. <laughs> I, would not, I would not be surprised. You know, I'd watch I it. I was going to say, you I, would, yeah, would watch, watch it. it. I mean, wait, with this they have a been... cartoon about the NFL called NFL Rush Zone. Really? So why not? Yes, in <laughs> real NFL players and coaches lend their voices as characters in the show. It is ridiculous. Is this kind of like that show back in the day that had like Wayne Gretzky, yes. Bo Jackson, and Michael Sorry. Jordan? Except not as... It's funny you mention that because I <laughs> caught an episode of that on The Hub. <laughs> on The Hub? <laughs> I caught an episode of it on The Hub. And it was hilarious because they were... Uh, oh, what was it? Somebody had a watch and they made er, masks that they could put over their entire face that let them talk underwater. And uh, Bo Jackson, Wayne Gretzky... Wayne Gretzky was shooting pucks that shot black ink out of his wrist. It was really funny. 
Watch out. <laughs> All Crazy. Right. This no, show was amazing. That's a, that's a show. That's apparently but, uh, a that's show. That's what we grew up on. And that is a show. Looking. <laughs> but Rush Zone, it's like these kids, and then they wear watches that give them, like, these super suits that make them look like football players, and they battle this enemy called Wild Card. And he, like, <laughs> tries, to he, he tries to destroy stadiums on game days. So they have, a, they have a time limit. So they have to save the stadium by game day. Or else the game can't happen. And I just seen the most recent commercial. Because I do watch a lot of cartoons. That's legit. And so I see these commercials. And the most recent one, Mike Ditka was there to teach them how to <laughs> teach them awesome defense so they can save what the whatever stadium they were on. And he, he come out in his bare sweater and he was like, I'll show you. And like pointed this ring at the kids. And they're like, ah, back flipping. And it looked like a bunch of like um So is it kinda is it kinda like is it kinda like Pokemon with like ex ex um like football names no like, I, I would say I'm it's more big, like i would say if, if you took if you took captain planet and put a football skin over it that's kind of uh, the vibe it goes for okay instead wow. of nature it's football i from the, <laughs> I, I, ironically i posted just a little bit ago uh about an hour ago uh from uh john fun on the facebook page was this i didn't know this existed apparently a wwf superstar cereal with uh ultimate warrior on the cover wow. Wow. Oh, shit. With, when I think I do remember that. I don't remember that at all. I mean, and I remember the Nintendo cereal system. Yeah. So, That's the most batshit uh, insane cereal ever. The what? <laughs> the most batshit insane cereal ever. <laughs> it was. It hey, was. watch it. It'll sue you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Bad Mike had a really good singer. The, the, the cereal just uh, served me with a subpoena. What the yeah, fuck is going on? <laughs> it has Warrior on the front. It's likely to do that. Look out. <laughs> Mad Mike had a good one in the chat room. He said he also heard Darren Young is going to be the spokesman for uh, Coco Pebbles. He's, uh, the, Black he's John the Black John Cena. Oh! oh! Race joke! Uh, millions of dollars. <laughs> millions of dollars. <laughs> wow. Um, I, I, they should give him, they should dress him up like John Cena and just put him on there and see if anybody notices. <laughs> <laughs> like give him the hat and the jean shorts and everything. Why is John Cena black face? No, that's Darren Young, so well, it's okay. They've done it. I've seen clips of like people where they take like it's like regular life cereal that's like it has it's in the white box and has this white family on it, and then there's like life cereal that's like maple brown sugar and there's it's like a beige <laughs> box and there's a brown family on it i don't know i said brown family black family right on the box so you be segregating cereals no no problem oh, oh Chachi, you're not on the mic i know, I know. That's fine. This is just for you guys just for us guys <laughs> this is great oh, podcasting no. the problem so, is so we can't even hear it okay that wrestling fans are so fucking stupid that you could dress darren young up like john cena Put them on a box of cocoa pebbles or cocoa puffs, and they'll think they just made John Cena brown because it's cocoa pebbles. I agree. Yeah. And they the same they reason they them in chocolate. Yes, it's and the exact, parents wouldn't have the gall to explain it to the kids. And it's, it's the exact same be. reason why there is a black Santa Claus. Mm. What? I don't think what? that's the same. No, no I, it's <laughs> true. We, uh, someone donated wow. a. Uh, Three-foot-tall animatronic black Santa. Oh, shit. I don't think black Santa. Yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> my grandmother has my family going back a couple generations incredibly racist. I'm not. I find racism humor. You are from the sticks. I am from the sticks. Where you bag Just your sir. own grass. Yes, we're back. <laughs> No. Apparently the fancy sticks where we got bags on our lawnmowers. No, no. In the sticks, I didn't bag my grass. The grass laid where it lied. In the sticks. Where I live now in the suburbs, I bag my own grass. Oh, aren't you fancy? Now that you're rocking the suburbs. We turn uh, it in a compost pile. <laughs> um, but my grandmother, who is racist, somebody <laughs> one year bought her a window cling for whatever reason, wasn't paying attention with a black face Santa Claus. <laughs> so she hangs it up every year. In, I don't know, 10 years or so ago. Someone cut out a little speech bubble that says, yo, ho, ho, bro. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and it gets hung up every year. Oh, and no. my grandmother. That's the talks. worst thing ever. No. No, your beard's the worst thing ever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> my beard, however, not overtly racist. 
<laughs> it's not overtly it. racist. <laughs> it just sits there and it's like, <laughs> oh, I hate black people. <laughs> Holy shit! Wow. Night and the beard gets on the internet, just starts posting all the racial. The beard has to just constantly remind people that it has black friends. Your beard, your beard is the worst troll on the internet. All right, guys. On that note, let's wrap it up. Oh my god! Yeah, the note of racism. Let's wrap this up. Somebody gets offended. Yeah, let's end it on a high note. What a way to wrap the seven year. (laughs) Smackdown race words. Fight, fight. Smackdown race words. Black, white. I don't even like, like synchronized dunking. Yeah. That's, no, no. that's all Chad the Shad started. No, 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 no. It. He's Sorry. doing the Antonio Cesaro pose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's also oh, my wow. photosynthesis dance. <laughs> what? <laughs> so tell that's me. That's a whole other story. What right? did you learn from wrestling or photosynthesis this week? <laughs> uh, let's go with Riz. Oh. Anyways, as much as I love the great Kali, there is no better sight than to watch a man half his size pick him up by his balls and then throw him down with ease, as Antonio Cesaro, Cesaro did twice. And, 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 and call out to the Miz on the second try. Yeah, and... It's starting to feel like he's going to be the heel Cena and the Kali is going to be the face show. When every time they face, they're going to freak out over, oh my God, we never saw this before. Whenever they show the same thing over and over again. Mm -hmm. Wrestle fan, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? I learned from wrestling this week that we should never forget Tyson Kidd. Never forget. Did he die? (laughs) Pretty yeah. much, but For, CM Punk had to remind us that he was still alive. He's going to be Zack Ryder this year. Uh, by the way, side note, uh, uh, Texas Anarchy uh, um, wants to know if anyone wants to buy his uh, used <laughs> by Jessica Havoc uh, Starbucks cup has not been washed. That shit's legit, by the way. So <laughs> I'm, I'm scared to see what's in it. Well, it's We're clear, it. so you can, well, mostly uh, see what's going on there. Uh, Bobby F.J. Town, what did you learn from wrestling this week? I learned this week that I can't wait for the next uh, Rock giving somebody a product line like he did John Cena and Pebbles. Yeah, I don't uh, think we get anything out of Cookie Puss. Uh, I, I, I think we're going to have a uh, Carvel uh, CM Pumpkin Puss cake. CM That's pump- what it's going to be. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Pumpkin Puss? Cookie Puss C- is a real CM thing. CM Pumpkin Puss. It is a pumpkin puss. It is a thing. Yeah, cookie Puss is like, yeah. Yeah. Is on, like, Urban Dictionary? No, or? it's on Wikipedia. <laughs> Cookie Puss is an ice cream cake <laughs> character yeah. created by Carvel yep. in the 1970s it's as an expansion of its line. Same thing as Fudgy line. the Whale. Yeah, with Fudgy the Whale. Huh. So it's but it's going to be Pumpkin Puss. This, is like, this is like the shit he grew up on, or right? Probably. Is that what's happening here? I don't know. I think Rock just found a word and fucking tried like to relate I made it to up. No, Genitalia. Carvel's going to sue you. Congratulations. <laughs> Rock was, it's Rock like Fandango. Was, Rock was a secret fat kid. Chachi, did you learn anything? No. No, Chachi did not learn anything from the couch. What did you guys learn? I'll never, one thing I'll never forget, though. <laughs> Wait, we're, we're still here? Never forget. We're past that. We don't I'll even have that segment. No, when Russell fans started off talking about forgetting Tyson Kidd or something. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Which I already forgot about. But I will <laughs> never forget the Alamo. The crickets. <laughs> what I learned in wrestling this week. Or much not, better, much better. Let's see what that I one. learned from photosynthesis week. <laughs> because I was given the option. Did you know that the mitochondria <laughs> is the powerhouse of the cell? Yes, I did. <laughs> These are the things Doc Remedy preaches about when he drinks heavily. Photosynthesis. <laughs> 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 Just recently <laughs> listened to that. <laughs> I, need to again. I need another copy of it. I lost mine. Yeah, another copy. It's on the stream. Oh. It's on I had the a stream. DVD. Come on. You had a DVD? It, it was in my car CD player. It when was. I wanted to laugh, I would fast forward <laughs> the 24 minutes or 44 minutes, whatever time drunk Chad came back from Fenwick's and 
hit play and laughed incessantly for my entire drive home. I make uh, uh, Missy listen to the Mayhem Show Christmas special on the way up to New York every year. Because I usually don't remember much of it. <laughs> From what year? Uh, whatever the year that just happened. Oh. 2012? Yeah. <laughs> the way I, no, no, literally, like, whatever, like, 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 like this year, we eight did. days ago? Yeah. No, no, like, well, it was a little longer this year. But it was, yeah, like, the, the, the Christmas special we did this December, on the way up to New York for Christmas, we listened to it. Oh, okay. And by that time, no, I don't remember the last part of the show. No. <laughs> no. Or how bad the singing was. That was really bad. It was wow. really bad. What we're getting say? we're getting was, so much better so at twelve there. days of Christmas. Yeah. I'm telling you. We we got through the whole song. We did get we through did the get whole song. song. I was getting yelled at. I don't think at. that ever happened. It took like a half an hour. <laughs> I was getting yelled at. Because you never sing. Everybody gets yelled yes, at. Yes, I do. <laughs> well, because nobody can stay on topic. There's right. tangents everywhere, isn't oh, there? Yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> that one time when I found five golden rings, let me tell you. <laughs> you, are you Russell not... Fan tried to put them all on his non-existent penis. I mean, that shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Missy? Um, I didn't learn anything. Uh, but... Good. Oh. <laughs> I sleep through Raw, remember? <laughs> Not, give me. <laughs> <laughs> and when I say I sleep through raw, I'm not saying it's bad. I just wake up really early and chase five year olds all day, so that's why I sleep through raw. But anyway, forget that. I'm gonna ignore your question and I'm gonna say what I want to say because that's what I'm here for. Um, <laughs> at the beginning of the show, I looked up. You brought up the whole um mayhem couple and we got married because of the wrestling mayhem show so i looked up to find what it was i knew what it was but i looked up to see the date the first thing i found of the wrestling mayhem show um i guess six years ago now so i guess i only missed out on it like a year so you uploaded a video on youtube on december 11th 2006 do you remember what the video would be sorg no. <laughs> the first video I saw, the reason I found the Wrestling Mayhem show, this is like sentimental, Sorg. Don't be laughing at me. The reason I found the Wrestling worried, Mayhem actually. show, no, it's good stuff. I was an IWC fan before I knew you guys. And so I was looking up IWC stuff on YouTube, and I found you guys interviewing sexual harassment. Okay. And that was the first thing I ever found. We saw each other's shows. We all got to know each other, me and this one, and now we're married, and it's all because of the mayhem. Would you stop it? I'm trying to. This is the seven-year anniversary of the Wrestling Mayhem show, and I'm trying to express how so, so this video nice here. it has been to my life. Sound wave just and now the two ass. are getting divorced because of the Wrestling Mayhem show. <laughs> and now we came back for an episode, and we need to get divorced. Whoa, I bought the mic. Shit. So we're, we're talking about this video here? We're talking about... With uh, Chad the Shad and yes. uh, yeah. LP <laughs> on the couch. Chad, Chad the Shad would probably edge. be ashamed of you, for you to show that. Yeah, he didn't have he his long so hair. He looks so different. <laughs> he's, he's so dressed up. Didn't he come from a job or something? I or, think so. Or... They showed up dressed up. Uh, it was so funny. <laughs> then then later, because I tried making my way in and it snowed really bad. Yeah. So I called in and then you take this little picture of me on a circle and put it up in the corner. <laughs> Technology was not what it was no. now. <laughs> I called in and uh, somebody just held their phone up to the microphone and that was we how I was. We used to do was... interviews that way. Yeah, that's exactly how we did interviews before. Yeah. Because it used to be we were all in the same room. Yeah. Yes. So it was a little easier to do that. Up, when you mentioned the old house before, I thought of upstairs because that's where we were when I started. Oh god. Here. We were in the room upstairs. Oh, it was god, like that. a quarter size of the space. <laughs> and you poked foam oh. fingers at the screen. <laughs> uh, the rat I love, it was like it was like we were all like standing in front of a camera. <laughs> it was really like, close. Like, like all trying really? to fit in the camera and, and there's way too much stuff in the room and it was just like <laughs> But that was still a fantastic there was, time. I mean, there was, it was a one, great time there was one like, webcam. Like for any and new may any like, new mayhem fans, legit webcam like one <laughs> like, of the little like eyeball what would be ones. on my eye what would be on my laptop here I'm like that sort of little of these, uh, there's like one <laughs> of the little eyeball webcams yes. and it sat and on just, top <laughs> of the iMac. Or no, when you got the iMac, you used the iMac webcam. Yep. 
and then you used one of the eyeball ones to set it somewhere <laughs> else for a second angle. Yep. That's and that's how we all got to be such good friends because we all had to sit so close to fit into the camera. That's about things right. got really weird that time that Jimmy DeMarco and Marshall Gambino came on. <laughs> that was a me and you sort. You and I did that interview. That was them. that one was was borderline awkward right there. Yeah, I'm trying to find that. This is so far back. I'm, I'm finding all the ones where we had the banner behind us and everything. Yeah. Um, I, I just want to find one for any like kind of newer fans. Uh, to see, I, actually, if you go to my uh, look up like my YouTube page, it's at youtube.com slash SPS Juggalo. And uh, here we go Silent Ninja Attacks. Let's see. Oh, um, oh I remember that one. He hit me with stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it, it's us. See, we're in this room. Um, <laughs> just, <laughs> Silent Ninja just, just <laughs> beating Remedy with I don't know what. I'm just kind of hanging out. We have a mic. Sword had um, long hair. That's and uh, that's his how it's luscious it, locks. That, <laughs> and that's how it I started. I miss Sorg's long hair you so didn't, much. We didn't video the whole show. No, we did not. It was you just would segments. just hope to catch like, funny are you things. Guys, are you going yeah. to do, you you do something, do something visually funny? Interesting Hold right on, now? I'll press Hold record. On, let me, yeah, let me record. Um, <laughs> if things would happen, and you would always be mad that you weren't recording. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like gold <laughs> now, right? Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Those are the good ones. So back to the roots. Yes, it was. I don't think we had any video from the old studio. I don't know that I've seen. I remember video. I, one of the we didn't start. I remember you guys with... didn't start video down here for the longest time. No, no, mm -hmm. not on a regular basis. We moved basis. down here, and it was still audio for a good while. It was before. audio, but we were doing like little clips. We were playing with see how far we could go with Block TV. Yeah, um, you could you could still you could still see a lot of Sorg's basement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I was not ashamed of showing up. I was. It was kind of laundry time at the. At the time, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, uh, we would have interesting. Yeah, well, here I got a Wrestling Mayhem Show 200, the bisextennial episode, where it's just like <laughs> a, a camera above me. Yeah, which, I think I'm alone in this one. I don't know what's going on here, uh, but it's like an hour 42. What the? Hey, this is part two. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, what, what's happening here? Remember, Maybe remember when we did that show? That microphone. <laughs> He's blowing a mic. <laughs> and you see, you see how cold it is down here. Because I'm wearing a Snuggie and a Gambino's hat, which is still yes. the warmest hat I own. Um, wow. I might have to go home and watch that. That's <laughs> sort of self-reflection on the year right there. He's like, these people are driving me into madness. <laughs> they left me alone in this the studio. January 13th, 2010. My, my only release. It's to blow a microphone. I'm all out of D batteries. <laughs> on that note, guys, thank you. Thank you guys for joining us again, returning to the show. It was a good time. Good times. <laughs> Always fun, sword. We hope Papa Lunchbox is going to be okay. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Um, no, don't eat it. You'll die. Drop us a line, guys. Hey, we're at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Find their show, iTunes, Stitcher, uh, Spreaker, Blip TV, Roku, YouTube. Talk to you. Go oh talk to you, apparently. <laughs> On YouTube, if you go to YouTube.com, just like search Wrestling Mayhem Show, you will find scores of videos. I'm looking at some of the titles now. Midgets fighting cripples. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, popped for the hip toss. Um, uh, more interesting than John Laurinaitis. <laughs> um, delicious chesty. Looks like we got DeMarco and Chess Flexor on the couch. I'm Brayden Rock Walker was an episode title. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure Sorg was just making up words, though. When he was like, find us at mayhemshow.com, and then he just said a bunch of gibberish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was just like, I recognize YouTube, and then it's just then other words that's like, Tuku I think it's Japanese, Roku. Cow. I think that's all. I think that's out down in Japan. Oh. Like, that's so only, now we're bilingual. It's only for the Japanese. No, it's right there on the screen. How many? That's all the places you can find us. <laughs> iTunes, Stitching. Blip, Blip is for the robots Stitching. that are taking over the world. They watch us on Blip. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I can't see the other one. Stitcher. <laughs> Stitcher. <laughs> That's for the old ladies that watch, and they oh, do their sewing okay. Okay. as they watch the show. And we're gives, never getting their award. It gives out <laughs> hints on different ways to do a lap splice or whatever the fuck it's called. What? what? I don't know. I'm just saying shit now. You're Speaking making up sewing ter terms. Wow. Oh, well, you know what? You can contact us at 
Good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com or 412-206-WMS0. Good times. I don't know. We've there had always it for, was a phone we've number. Had it for a while, dude. Big Freaky called us every remember day. Remember that? <laughs> no, I don't remember. <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. No. <laughs> WMS Gold, go buy the app oh, on the buy iOS buy the app. app Store. Ah, buy the app. app. We're Game is on our App shoes. Store as well for your. What you, you got light? He's showing up. LA, the you have LA lights? What yes, the I hell? Do. What? Wow. Whoa. I learned that this week. It still exists. And of course, everywhere else. Thank you guys. Thank you to everybody there. Chachi. Yes. Thank you. Thanks for Hands being up. here, sir. Yeah, we'll see you guys down. next Please. week. Another seven, seven years, years mayhem. Seven, 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 seven more years. 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 And wrestle fans still will not dip you. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait.